Hello, this is Bern, and if you'd like to understand one fatal mistake women make when dating, well, stick around because I'll be sharing with you what that is and how to turn it around for good in my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to be come. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I'm super excited to be sharing with you one fatal mistake women make when dating and how to turn it around for good. Here it is, I'll lay it on the table. So many women are living out the possibility of creating strong, sustainable, devotional, passionate, very committed relationships with awesome quality men because they've fallen prey to the myth that when they meet the one, in that precise moment, both eyes will meet, the angels will sing, the earth will part in half, the Lord will sing, and you will feel a combination of butterflies equivalent to three roller coasters and the morning Christmas day when you open presents from Santa and the best date you've ever been on in your life and the most amazing sex you've ever had all combined into one experience. And if you don't feel that, then he's obviously not the one. So because that's been ingrained in your brain through the soap operas and stories and little kitty tales, many women are living out those connections, are throwing away, they go on a first date, they don't feel those incredibly intense butterflies and they don't create that second date, basically. They say no to the guy the second date. And on the opposite side of the spectrum, they create a very strong connection with someone who has so many red flags, but hormonally and uh, chemistry-wise is so strong that they do dedicate, they waste six months of their lives basically being this guy's uh, joke, you know? So am I asking you right now to throw out, throw away chemistry? Fuck no, that, I'd be the last person to tell you that. You want to create a relationship that has a lot of chemistry and a lot of passion. However, you need to understand that chemistry very often takes time to build. It's not always intense and the first moment you saw each other, you knew it. Sometimes it takes persistence and it takes getting each other and it takes nuance and it takes shared experiences to be able to grow and to expand and to flourish like a bonfire versus just a little match, okay? So next time you create a connection with a guy and he is someone who you feel inside, he's a worthy guy, he's intelligent, but I'm just not feeling it. I want you to give him a second chance. And when you go on that second date, I want you to loosen up, be open, increase your playfulness factor, because that will also show you a different side of him versus if you're both really serious and sitting down across the table and eating or something. So be more playful, be more open, be more flirtatious, and see if there's a sparkle of something growing. Now, even if you don't feel butterflies at level 20 on the second date, but you see that there's progress, that, that you feel something more, that's a good sign, go on a third date. And by the third date, if you see that there's some progression going on, even if at the third date you're still not feeling the ocean parting in half and uh, angel singing type of feeling, but you can see that there's a hint of something there, I want you to continue. I mean, if this is a worthy guy where you feel the chemistry is growing, then take another chance. You know, worst thing that can happen is fourth or fifth date, you're still not feeling it, end it. But if you are feeling something more, because it took time, because it took nuance, then you will find yourself with a good problem in your hand, which is how to grow this, how to create something more sustainable, how to create an amazing relationship with someone who is potentially the absolute right person for you. Many, many times when you create that incredibly intense, you want to jump out the window of happiness because it's so passionate. It doesn't mean he's your soulmate. It means your hormones are incredibly well connected together. You may have a very strong karmic connection with a man, but it doesn't mean that it's sustainable. It doesn't mean that it's potentially the best guy for you. It could be that you unite both. The first time you see him, it's the most intense feeling and he ends up being your soulmate, but it's not always the case. So if you find this is helpful, insightful, or useful in any way, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. And number three, on the description of this video or on a link somewhere on your screen here, you're gonna see uh, an opportunity to sign up to a free webinar that I'm hosting that will share with you how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less super powerful stuff and it's free. If you have any questions for me, any comments, leave them on this video or any of my other videos and I promise to reply to you personally or create a video just for you. <laughs> Thank you.